Estrogen dominance, <laughs> is it causing a fertility flop? I'm here with my great friend, Dr. Catherine Zagoni. I'm so proud of you. So glad you're here. Aw, thank you're, you, You're Drew. inspiring the world to become more fertile. Thank you, Drew. I'm so happy to be here. So our modern lifestyle really lends itself to too much estrogen in our bodies. Mm -hmm. So whether it's the meat and dairy that we're consuming, the plastics we're touching, the lotions and potions we're slathering all over our bodies, or the stress that we're under, the factors that can cause too much estrogen in the body lead to a multitude of symptoms and ultimately infertility. Got it. Yeah. So are we going to talk about the things people are doing to cause more estrogen? We're going to talk about that and also how would you even know if you have too much estrogen? So a lot of people are walking around with this condition and they don't even know it. So Got some it. things that as a woman you want to look for, do you get menstrual headaches or migraines? Do you have uterine fibroids? Do you have a lumpy, bumpy, painful breasts, even if it's just for part of your cycle? Um, do you get bloated, water retention, mood swings, low energy, low libido? Then you may have an issue with estrogen dominance. Got it. So, and if, if you're struggling to conceive, this is something that we want to be, we want to address. And what about men, estrogen dominance? Uh, it's not called the same thing, but yeah. there is an issue where if you have too much estrogen in your body, it's blocking up your testosterone receptors, yeah. and you can actually be converting too much testosterone into estrogen, which can cause... Man boobs. Yeah. But there's a few kinds of estrogen dominance. So there's frank estrogen dominance, and not frank the man, but frank where just your estrogen levels are really high. So that could be you're making too much or you're not clearing enough. And also all the things that we have in our environment, so plastics, the processed foods, processed sugar, foods, dairy, sugar right. blood sugar reg dysregulation, mm -hmm. um, but then also anything that clogs up the liver. In that case, what we want to do is support making just what you need, not putting any of the xenoestrogens in, and doing a very healthy breakdown of estrogen through the liver. So things that do that, my favorite right here. Broccoli. Broccoli. I think I might walk down the aisle with broccoli when I get married. Yeah? Instead Maybe. of flowers? We'll that see. would be awesome. <laughs> I'm a true naturopath. I would do that too. <laughs> broccoli is a cruciferous veggie. Other cruciferous veggies act the same way and they have a compound called sulforaphane. And it actually helps process the estrogen in the body, also anti-cancer. But if you wanted to supercharge your broccoli, you would actually, you know, we talk about reversing the biological clock. What yeah. you can do is do broccoli sprouts instead. Yeah. So they have more than 50 times the potency. <laughs> So the next issue that you can have um, is estrogen dominance, but not necessarily too high of estrogen. So how does that happen? And that's actually a progesterone deficiency, but the symptoms can be very similar. So you want to make sure that you know which is which and get tested by your doctor before you start treating yourself. Although when you're treating with food, it's very safe and mm -hmm. you can do all of the things and yeah. I, you should do all of the things. Um, and if it's a progesterone deficiency, then we want to support that phase of the cycle. So it's super important, um, one, to get your levels checked, and two, to do everything you can to support healthy progesterone levels, because that love the number, the amount of progesterone is going to rise exponentially once you get pregnant, and you need that for a healthy pregnancy throughout the entire nine months. So a few things you can do to support healthy progesterone levels in the body, vitamin C. So lemons are a great source of vitamin C. You can also do you know, a supplement, 750 milligrams yeah. has been shown to improve progesterone levels. So other things that support healthy progesterone levels are um, an herb called Vitex or Chase Tree Berry. Um, I, even a teaspoon of the liquid herb, the extract, in the morning, uh, throughout the second half of your cycle, or for some women I have them take it the whole month, but it's really good for regulating hormones and especially supporting the progesterone. Um, and also evening primrose oil. So evening primrose oil is very high in an, a, a fatty acid called GLA, mm -hmm. um, which is one, good for skin, but also really good for that second half of the cycle. Can also help with cramps, breast tenderness, mood wow. swings. So I would say first step is to check with your doctor. So get tested. You want to get tested at the right <coughs> time of your month of the month. So seven days after ovulation. So if you have a regular 28 day cycle, that's on day 21. And you want to look at the progesterone, progesterone to estrogen ratios. Um, and see if you have too much estrogen, if you don't have enough progesterone, and then you can make sure that you're very specific with how you take care of your body and balance everything naturally. I love it. Tons of valuable information, you guys, in this video. Thank you so much, Catherine, for coming on. My Absolutely amazing. Where do people go to get more information? Uh, the, the Holistic Fertility Method.com. So, Got it. Yeah, so um, everything you need is, is right there. We're doing our free fast and fertile gift pack where you get the fertile home checklist, a belly dance video, and the top 10 do's and don'ts of fertility. We're about to do a belly dance in the office. Yeah, we are. All right, let's go. Thank <laughs> you so much. Thanks, love. As always, remember, 
Ready? Remember, we're, we're, we're in, in it this together. together. Not in it. We're in this. We're, we're, <laughs> we're in this. Okay. Remember, we're, we're in, in this, this together. together. Hit, 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 hit. Try it left. This is a workout. It is a workout. Come on, Facebook. You know you want this. Group hug it up. You get passing through us. Yeah. <laughs>